this is Dr. Mark here, and I'm coming to you from Expanding Choices, which is an integrative healthcare clinic here in Uptown Albuquerque. And today I would briefly like to explain to you the difference between diabetic ketoacidosis and what is called nutritional ketosis. Now we are big proponents here of a low carbohydrate, high fat diet with ideally the attainment of nutritional ketosis. This is where the body is basically a fat burning machine and is utilizing the fuel that the body desires, which is fat and from the metabolism of fat, ketones. And this has been identified through the scientific research as nutritional ketosis. And that is specifically when the blood level of beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is a ketone in the blood, is at a level of 0.5 to 3.0 millimoles per liter. This can be easily measured at home and is, again, nutritional ketosis. Now, diabetic ketoacidosis is life-threatening and very dangerous. It is essentially limited to people who are type 1 diabetics, although in very severe end-stage type 2 diabetics, they could potentially enter into a uh, phase of diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, to attain diabetic ketoacidosis, the minimum blood sugar level needs to be 260, and often it's much higher, 4 to 500. And the blood ketone level is over 10 and typically is in the 20 to 30 range. And these are levels just not attainable in what we call nutritional ketosis in people who are either not one, not type one diabetics and or are not end stage type two diabetics. So the use of nutritional ketosis is an excellent tool. It's the body's preferred tool to utilize for weight loss, for diabetes management and diabetes prevention, for heart health, and for anti-aging. Now here at Expanding Choices, we have a three-hour seminar, which we put on to help people learn about the science, the physiology of this, and to get them started on this healthy way of life. If you'd like to join us for one of our seminars, please give our clinic a call. That phone number is 505-508-1745. And remember, nutritional ketosis, which is attained through the ketogenic diet, has absolutely nothing to do with diabetic ketoacidosis. Unfortunately, this is a mistake made by even physicians. So we look forward to you joining us for one of our seminars and to learn more about nutritional ketosis. Thank you so much and have a good day.